Hello, hello, once again, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use SPSS. SPSS stands for Statistical Package for Social Sciences. So, basically, I use this particular software to analyze data. So, if you have a questionnaire, you may gather a questionnaire, you want to do some analysis of that questionnaire. And SPSS will help you do that with ease. So, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So, this is my SPSS interface. On my screen so we have two views we have the data view and then the variable views the, the variable view so I'm going to show you how you can easily use it to so before you can use the data view you first need to create your variables so how then do you define variables there are some basic rules you need to know in order to what, create a variable so for a variable you need to make sure that that variable must begin with a letter must not contain spaces no special character except an underscore so these are some of the things we need to take into consideration when creating what our variable so let's jump straight into action so this is my variable view and we have name type width decimal labels values missing columns align and measure so we're going to use this simple questionnaire to do our analysis so in this questionnaire, we have ID, address, age, gender, main source of income, what is your monthly income. We're going to use this to do our simple analysis. Okay, so let's look at how we can create our variable using this simple record. So the meaning I need to have, within my variable view, I need to have ID. So let me call this ID. Okay, let me type everything in caps. So I'll call this ID. After my ID, my ID is going to be numeric. So we're going to leave it as a numeric. I may have to put in the decimal of. We don't need any decimal place for our ID. So we're going to assign ID to participants. So we want to, the width is going to be the length, the value it will contain. So the label is what is going to represent that ID. So basically, the columns are just like S, so you can easily click, stretch, and then enlarge. So the label represents or the label is going to have some descriptive name about the name we assigned to our variable so let's say id of participants okay so let's do it id of participant so this is it id of participants and the value so what value is going to be there we're going to leave this one none for now when we get to the subsequent one i will explain the id and the missing to missing is basically like a default value <coughs> when the person not respond the value we're going to assign to that and the width we're also going to leave that for now and alignment we're going to leave it at right and then at the measurement we're going to set it to scale so basically scale is mostly for quantitative weight and all that so this we're going to leave it as scale for now i'll talk about the rest in subsequent video ordinal and then nominal so we we have on id we have id the next thing we also talk about is what the address so let's also assign the address so we we'll put address over here we are going to change our address because address is going to be a bit long we're going to change it from numeric so click on this three dot and we're going to change from numeric to what string string is basically like characters so we'll click ok to change this to that we're going to increase this a bit because address may be long so let's put it around 100 we put it around 100 we're going to have no decimal place so let's say address of participant so remember the address the label column can contain space but within our name column we are creating variables and we need to follow the rules in which i've made mention of okay so at the label column we can leave it this way and it will work there can be space no value we we'll leave it that way missing we we'll leave it that way the column let's leave everything as it is and address over here let's leave it at normal let's leave it the default for now so let's jump straight and go to the next one which is going to be age okay so age we're going to okay so age is going to be numeric age is not going to have no decimal place so let's say age of participant eh? okay and we're not going to leave we're not going to assign there's not going to be any value no missing we're going to leave everything default let's jump straight 
I'm going to do a comprehensive tutorial on SPSS. So remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alert anytime we upload a new content. So I'm going to use this simple questionnaire to do. So remember to watch this video to the end. So let's also look at. So this is going to be gender. Sorry. So let's make this one gender. Or simply we can just say sex. So this is going to be sex. So over here let's say sex. So sex, we can easily make it a string as well. But when we come down here, well, let's say sex. of participants so basically the label should be a descriptive name and over here this is where we need to at least assign a value so sex can either be a male or a female so when we come down here you notice we have i have the sex over so i can easily represent male i can easily use I can easily use one for male can easily use one for male and also say female is two so this will explain the many of the value the values to you so when we go back to our SPSS and we click on these three dots we're going to see the value is what one so one we're going to assign male to one over here then we add then we're going to add two and two will be what female. So basically, this is one of the best thing you can do using the value. So we add this one as well, then we click on OK. So we have this option set. We're going to leave the rest as it is, and let's move on. Let's move on. The next thing is going to be main source of income. Okay, we're going to ask the person the main source of income. So remember, variables don't have to have space. Okay, take note of that. So we say source of income. So you can say source. source of income so there should be underscore uh, variables can have an underscore source of what income so we can have it this way okay let me enlarge my column a bit okay source of income and this is going to be a decimal in decimal position like this it says source of income of income okay and we don't when we will leave this place as it is because we expect the person to type in the source of income we don't want to at least restrict the person so the person is going to type the source of income and the next thing we're also going to talk about is we first want to ask the person what is your monthly income so let's say what is your monthly income and remember variables don't have a space so monthly and then underscore income and this is also going to be a numeric value and then say monthly income monthly income we're also going to leave the rest default and let's also proceed the next thing we want to talk about is do you save money from your monthly income so this is also a question so let's say saving from underscore monthly then underscore income so this is our variable let's also make a numeric and here we want the person to give us yes or no so we'll say do you save from monthly income so let's leave this way and then the value we're going to say yes or no so one is going to be yes Add yes and two is going to what no okay so click on ok and let's look at what is left now we also have have you taken COVID-19 vaccine let's also ask this so go ahead and say taking COVID 
college busing. So this is going to be a string as well. Okay, it's going to be a string as well. And also, let's see, have you taken COVID version? So we also want to say yes or no. So one for yes and two for no. Okay. So this is it. We have one more to go. So let's see how did you get to know about us. So let's also ask that and say how did you get to know. Hey, remember we are creating a variable and there should be no space. So how you go go no as so let's call it that way so leave it this way and this also is going to be let's change it to string for now and let's say how did you know us or got to know us okay and this is also going to we are going to give some descriptions we want to say radio social media tv and then newspaper so radio is going to be one so let's say radio add the next one is going to be social media so two will be for social media to be for social media the third one is going to be for TV so three is going to be for TV and then the fourth one will be newspaper so call this news paper okay so you're going to click on okay and add it so basically this is our question here and we wanted to enter this question by creating variables for that so now if you move back to we move back to data view you notice whatever we've entered within the variable view is now showing at a column in which we have what our data view we can expand this for you to at least see what we have now okay so what we created we have them over here Okay, the spaces seen with the variables we created, we have the label. So now what we're going to do is that we can just go ahead and start entering in some few data. And then we can do some analysis. So let's do some few analysis. So let's do some few analysis. Let's say the first participant is having an ID of 1. An address of let's say Accra. I'm going to add some few information. Let's say age is 24, sex. So over here, we can just type in one for sex, source of income. Let's say source of income. Let's say farming, mentally income. okay so source of income let's go back to the string and let's look at what to give source of income this is going to be let's change this to what a string in order for us to be able to type we put what an integer so you notice that's the sum of the challenge you face so when we go back here and then we put in what farming this one is going to work okay and then monthly income so let's say two thousand and notice we now have the decimal place saving from about 2000 let's say 500 and taking covid vaccine is also going to be one which means yes how do you go to know about us let's say let's just put three over there let's go ahead and then put in few data into this and then we can do our analysis okay i'm going to just randomly put in any figure and then we can do some analysis with that 
let's see this is 3000 and out of that a person is saving 700 let's say no let's say four so hopefully we're going to create some do some bit of analysis let's go ahead and see okay and let's see sakradi okay let's see kufridia and 35 we have what trade trade let's see employment okay so our string we're not able to type in more because we define the variable by to be it so let's go back here source of income let's change this to at least something around 20 so that we can type more okay we can type more by a covid version the rest okay so i think this is good too it's good and we can continue so we cannot type in employment and let's say five thousand and out of type five thousand person is saving thousand are we taking covid vaccine yes and then how did you go to know about let's say three then go ahead five let's say tema we have tema we have the age is what 50, 45 and sex let's say two representing what female and then employment let's say private and let's say income is 2500 out of savings is what let's say 1002 have you taken covid vaccine let's say yes how did you go to know about so let's say two go to six let's say this is a shy man and then the age is 23 let's say unemployed unemployed let's say the person is making just like a bit of 500 cities a month and saving 100 and have we taken no and let's say one so this is just some few data we've been able to get how then do we analyze this you notice when we have this one two and three one is, is basically going to switch between your labels and the values for you so you notice represent what male with what one female with two tv and then the rest we also use numbers to represent them so between when we use the value labels when it switch between them is going to reveal exactly what we did over there so this is exactly what we've done we've represent these values with numbers and we can easily view that anytime we want to do any analysis okay so that's what we've done we can easily do some analysis using by going to an analyze and then go to descriptive statistics so we can easily draw a bit of chart or we want to know the number of people who took covid vaccine let's say we have a bulk of data we want to know the number of people to covid vaccine go to analyze descriptive statistics go to frequency and then over here i want to know people who took covid vaccine so source of income we have have taken covid you can click over and then add it over here if you want to draw a chart you can click on chart and then maybe you want to draw a bar chart or pie chart continue and then go to statistic now and then maybe we want to at least also find a medium and then the rest if you want to add in anything you can go ahead and then find minimum and the maximum then we click on continue and then we can go ahead and go click okay so let's look at the analysis dashboard now we're going to analyze this data and then look at our total so look at what we have now we've been able to analyze this data using what SPSS. so we have the we don't have any missing value that means the the questionnaire has been responded to everything has been responded to so we now have valid so five questionnaires have been administered and then it has been answered we have yes three people said yes if taking covid vaccine two people said no 
and the percentage of yes is what 60 no is this and then valid we've seen everything set and we have taken covid vaccine we basically have what a graph representing our statistics we can easily right click on this and then you can copy if you want to use it within your word documentation for presentation purposes you can easily do that okay so when i click and I paste this right here i've basically added it to my word document as you can see we can basically do a lot of things let me just close this i'm not going to save this and at least do another analysis for you to do for you to see i'll go back here let me reset this i'm going to say monthly income we can easily see the maximum and we're not going to draw a chart this time. okay let's draw a chart we'll draw a buy chart and then let's also okay so we're going to see statistics we want to find medium and okay find maximum and the rest click on continue and click okay so let's look at analysis for this so this is it we've been able to look at the monthly income of people that we administer this questionnaires to we've seen from 500 to the so almost one person frequency almost we have one person representing each amount that we have assume we have two people taking 500 getting 500 a month week it will represent over so this tomorrow is a bit even so we can see what exactly is happening over here and we have our mentally spending which seems to be what very equal okay it seems to be very equal. i'm going to do a bit of adjustment to our data so i'm not going to save this so i'm going to add somebody who is also taking similar amount i'm going to say dodoa and the person is 20 let's say, let's say reasonable 34 and the person is a male and the person is what let's say employed just like that okay let's say the person is employed and the person is also any let's say 2000 yeah 3000 and is saving at least thousand out of that and the person said yes to covid and the person what to know about let's say three remember you can switch between the value labels to at least know what is happening so tv represents what if you go there you switch by tv represent three so we've done this in order for us to know exactly what is happening okay so let's go back and do some analysis at least we have two mentally income we have three thousand i want you to understand the concept what exactly is happening you go back to descriptive frequency and i want to see uh, source of income okay so okay i've added this already so let's just go ahead and then draw a bar chart and also get the rest of the information as we want and click ok so i want us to see something over here so this time if you take note we have the three thousand two people taking three thousand the frequency is there we have our mean median minimum so the person taking the list is what 500 the maximum is 5000 so now two people taking two people are any 3000 and we're able to get the percentage of that the valid percentage and then the rest and then we also have the graph over and the graph representing 3000 we see it's higher than that we could see two it's higher than the rest we see two people taking this so we can create complex data and we'll be able to analyze this using what spss Remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alert anytime we upload a new content. So this is just a basic, a comprehensive, this is just a basic introduction to what? SPSS. Like I said, SPSS stands for Statistical Package for Social Sciences. Remember to subscribe and share this video with friends as I create amazing content for you. I'll be creating a comprehensive tutorial and do a bit of comp complex this analysis using the SPSS and stay tuned and subscribe to this channel bye bye